Hello guys, today I have a new video for you and it's going to be showing you how to get IQ and all your fans and lighting node strips to work with the wallpaper engine which is $4 on Steam. And to start off this video, I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like in the end. So yeah, let's get started. And the wallpaper is going to be the, you know, I'll explain later, but the wallpaper will have an, like an equalizer, visualizer to, to it. Okay, so that's what it'll look like in the end. But anyway, let's get started on how to do it. Okay guys, so basically what you want to do whenever you're on your Windows 10 wallpaper here is you want to open up the wallpaper engine application and then once ever, whenever that loads up, it'll connect to your Steam account and stuff. But it'll open up a page that looks similar to this, except of course you'll, you'll see Courser Collection and then another option right by it, but I accidentally removed that, but it should say Courser of Tron or something. So first what you want to do is make sure you have the IQ software installed. All download links will be in the description. And whenever you have that up and running, you want to go to settings and make sure that you have enable SDK selected on. And if you turn this on, I recommend restarting your system. Now that that's out of the way, you can select one of the wallpapers, but select the one that says... All my friends have noticed. Okay, so select the one that says Corsair Otron. Then click Corsair Collection, and then click OK, and you'll see this happens. And this does actually work as you move your mouse, like with the fans and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But for the music one, what you want to do is go back to the Wallpaper Engine app, and then after you open that up, um, select that Corsair Otron again, which for me it's going to be down here since it, I accidentally re somehow removed it. Corsair Otron. And you'll see all the lights in your system will turn off. And then, this will pop up. And you can change customization and the settings and stuff like that just by going into the settings right here. You can change some stuff. And you can also change stuff by going in here. You can change, like, different kinds of things. But, anyways. Now if we go and play that music again, it'll work. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the video. Thank you for joining. If you have any problems, just let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the post notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one.